Good day, my wonderful Filipinos. How are you doing today? Hope you are good. I welcome you once again to our online class on English studies. And our topic says phrases. Phrases. What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words that does not make a complete thought. A phrase is a group of words that does not make a complete sense. What do I mean by making a complete sense or thought? It simply means that when you see a phrase, you will not understand what it means by simply looking at the words. There are just groups of words. It could be two words or three words. For example, in the house, good girl, our team, in the park, these are phrases. When I come to the class and say our team, you'll be wondering what team I'm talking about. Or if I say in the park, You'll be wondering what park, what is happening in the park. That is what I mean by phrases. They don't make a complete thought. They must be attached to other parts of a sentence to make a sense or a complete thought. There, in phrases, we have types. We have types of phrases. We have noun phrase, adjectival phrase, prepositional phrase, adverbial phrase. But today, basically, we're looking at just two types of phrase. We'll be looking at noun phrase and adjectival phrase. Noun phrase and adjectival phrase. So we'll begin with noun phrase. Before we talk of noun phrase, you must have learned what a noun is. A noun is a naming word. It means a person, animal, place, or thing. A noun is the name of a person animal, place, or thing. So what is a noun phrase? When you talk of noun phrase, it refers to words that work the same way as a noun. So if you know the work of a noun in a sentence, it is still the work of a noun phrase. So they go hand in hand. Any work of a noun can also be done by noun phrase. And when you talk of noun, you also talk of pronoun because a pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Then we will talk of examples of noun phrase. The first one is Mike forgot Ada's birthday. Mike forgot Ada's birthday. First of all, you will ask yourself what is the noun in this sentence? Ada's birthday. Fine. Mike is also a noun. But one thing a noun phrase does it tells you the particular thing. The particular thing. Talking of birthday, you will ask, you ask yourself what did Mike forget? What did Mike forget? Ada's birthday. It's not just about birthday, but Ada's birthday. So Ada's birthday is the noun phrase. Let's check out this second example. Ada likes reading books about animals. Ada likes reading books about animals. There are so many nouns here, but the one we're talking about is noun phrase, remember? And you ask yourself, what does Ada like reading? What does Ada like reading? Ada likes reading books about animals. Reading books about animals. That means reading books about animals is the noun phrase. And the last example, those houses are very expensive. Those houses are very expensive. They're not just talking about houses. In a noun phrase, they refer to the particular house or the particular thing. It, it could be my house, it could be your house, it could be that house. Remember, that, these, they make things more specific. So those houses are very expensive. Those houses are very expensive. What are very expensive? What are very expensive? Those houses. That means it also answers the question, what? So those houses are the are very expensive and this is the noun phrase those houses let's move to the other type of phrase which is adjectival phrase it's from the word adjective it could also be known as adjective phrases first of all what is adjective because we need to know the meaning of adjective before adjectival phrases adjective is a word that describes or qualifies a noun or a pronoun. For example, Ada is a noun. When you say Ada is beautiful, 
beautiful is now describing Ada, isn't it? The short man, the man is short. The short man, short is describing the man. Because we also have the tall man, the slim man, and the fat man. So now that we've learned the meaning of adjective, what of adjectival phrases? They are a group of words comprising of an adjectives. That means in adjectival phrase, there must be an adjective. In any adjectival phrase, there must be an adjective, which is the main thing. And it tells us what kind of which one. Adjectival phrase tells us what kind of which one. When we look at the examples, we will understand better. The first one is Joseph is a shy thin boy. Joseph is a shy thin boy. This is a noun, right? Joseph is a noun. Joseph is a boy. But when you talk of what describes him, because there are so many boys, imagine when I tell you, go call that boy. You will ask me, which boy? I would say, go call the shy thin boy. When you go to a group of boys, the thin or the shy one, you be the one to be called, isn't it? So what are the clever phrases? What they do is to tell us what kind or which one. Joseph is a shy thin boy. Shy thing is the adjectival phrase. Shy thing boy. The second one is Ada is a beautiful tall lady. Remember, an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Ada is a beautiful tall lady. Beautiful tall is the adjectival phrase. Beautiful tall lady. This is the lady they are talking about. And which one? Which one? Is it the fat one? Is it the slim one? The beautiful tall lady. So beautiful tall lady is the adjectival phrase because this is the noun and this is what is describing the noun. The last but not the least, the weak old man is crossing the road. The weak old man is crossing the road. You can see now this adjectival phrase now begins the sentence. The previous ones end the sentence. That means it could be at the beginning or at the end. The weak old man is crossing the road. Which man? Is it the strong man or the tall man or the short man? No, the weak old man. So it tells you which one. The weak old man is crossing the road. The weak, weak old man is the adjectival phrase. So next time we discuss the other types of phrases. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to log into class to do for your assignment. See you next time and have a nice